So, you want to become a good architect? Well, at university you'll be bombarded with a lot of specific information. But caution. Education is not just about inhaling information. You have to become critical and self-critical. To criticize stems from the Greek word for differentiate. Learn to differentiate between the important and the not so important. Meinhard von Gerkan and Volkwin Mark knew this when they first met at the Technical University in Berlin in 1957. That's why they started with the Studium Generali, which means extracurricular studies. This helped them to ask the right questions about architecture, about the environment, about people. On the other hand, they already began during their studies to gain practical experience as submarines. Designing as a submarine means making competition designs for other architects. Start to gain practical experience as early as possible, even if this means extra effort. When Meinhardt and Volkwin founded their architectural firm in Hamburg in 1965, they therefore knew roughly what to expect. They had learned to distinguish the important from the unimportant. They had also learned to deduce certain principles from this distinction and to transfer these principles specifically into a draft. That's why they won with their 1965 design for Berlin Tegel Airport, the airport of short distances, which launched the success story of GMP. Even if the concept could no longer be realized in that way now, the fact that the airport is still in use today speaks for the strength of its design. The principles that Meinhardt and Volkwin developed at that time have remained as the guidelines of their office to this day. Find the clearest and simplest solution for your design. Make sure your design is distinctive. Give your designs a structural order. Create variety within uniformity and uniformity within variety. Develop your own design principles, but never stop questioning yourself. Architecture knows no definitive answers. Architecture is dialogue. Perhaps the most important principle of architecture is that of dialogue. As an architect, you have to conduct a dialogue with the client, as well as with your team or external experts. But also in a figurative sense, dialogue is fundamental. For example, the dialogue between the building task and the historical context of the place. Or the dialogue between your building and the buildings in its surroundings. Architecture is not a one-man show, because architecture affects all of us. All means the whole world. Anyone who is or wants to become a successful architect today must think globally. That's why Meinhardt and Volkwin have repeatedly participated in international architectural competitions. Today, GMP builds all over the world. So, the more you know about the world, and the world knows about you, the more opportunities will come your way. But remember, it's not about you. As an architect, you bear responsibility for people and for the environment alike. Being active internationally means being part of a global community facing global challenges. Therefore, always bear in mind, architecture is, of course, not apolitical. Be a responsible architect. Was that all? Not quite. Meinhard von Gerkan and Volkwin Mark see part of their responsibility as architects in passing on their experience their positions and their knowledge to the next generation. That is why, together with their office partners Nikolaus Götze, Hubert Nienhoff, Stefan Schütz and Jürgen Hilmer, they founded the Academy for Architectural Culture. The AAC is a place where architecture students learn to ask the right questions and to conduct a dialogue on architecture, on the environment, for people. Learn how to conduct a dialogue. AAC. 
Academy for Architectural Culture.